So um, before we get to the last match of the week, if that last match of the week hadn't happened, this would have been my shock result. That new that Bournemouth got a point here, especially at Newcastle. It's not like they pulled one out at home. Um, to be fair on Bournemouth, and once again, raise my hand in the non-Bournemouth fan club. I am not only a member, also the president. Um, yeah, they've gotten three points since firing. They've gotten three points out of three matches since firing Scott Parker and the drubbing at Liverpool. So I, I, I think Bournemouth has to feel pretty good about themselves. The idea that they've gotten three draws and a win this season, that's six more points than I actually thought they would get before Christmas. So I I just really feel like they have to feel like they're building on something. Um, the Philip Billings goal was really impressive, and I think there's a player inside of him, and I think they need to do more of him and Solanke playing off each other up top. Um, the Kiefer Moore experiment that Scott Parker was trying to do, the direct route one football, it's not going to work in the Premier League. Uh, so I, I actually, you know, on the other hand, I don't want to kill Newcastle because they conceded a second half goal. They only gave up one. They're still one of the best defensive sides in the league. It's still they have only lost one match all year, and that was that match to us. Um, so I think Newcastle is in, you know, in with a shout of being one of the teams. Now, five draws isn't going to make you overly excited, right? Yeah. But it's it, it's a hell of a lot better than last year at this time when they had one win and six losses, right? Um, and if you think about it, they've had some tough games. They played us. They played City. I mean, it's been a tough schedule for them. And right. I almost feel like, though, you look at the Newcastle team that played against City, that played against Liverpool, that same attitude should still crush Bournemouth. I feel like it, as a team, they feel like they belong up there. And I think that makes them get up, if you will, for some of those games a lot more than perhaps against a team like Bournemouth. I'd agree with that. The other thing I would say is, is you know, uh, the, the the keeper that came in, Neto, for, uh, for Bournemouth, the former Barcelona backup that they bought, um, he basically stood on his head. He made six saves yeah. throughout the match. He made two world-class saves that stopped Isak. Uh, Almiron should have scored with a great bit of skill. Um, so they were a little unlucky on the day. I also think they took 650 corners, um, which on another day you'd expect one of those to go in. But once again, you know, VAR's reaping its ugly head, popping in, making mistakes, and coming out today and apologizing basically stating that there should have been, I think it was a penalty. Um, so, you know, Newcastle might be able to be able to say to themselves, Bournemouth was great. The keeper stood on his head and the referees were betting against us and playing against us. And don't let it be anything that a Magpies fan wouldn't do, like blame an official or a match day squad <laughs> for exactly why they didn't get results. Because if there's one thing they like to do up there, up there at St. James's Park is rally around the hatred for everybody that isn't Newcastle. 